O'Bannon versus the NCAA by Andrew Ayers, Logan Huffman, and Luke Wagner. Introduction. Electronic Arts is the producer of the NCAA football and basketball video games, making millions of dollars off of each single game produced, which is 34 in total, and also giving hundreds of thousands of dollars to schools over the years. The National Collegiate Athletic Association, also known as the NCAA, is a nonprofit association that regulates college athletes. College football and basketball is something that millions of people watch year after year, making it a multi-billion dollar industry. The Collegiate Licensing Company, also known as the CLC, is a trademarking and marketing company for over 200 colleges and universities across the nation. Ed O'Bannon is an NBA retiree who formerly played for the UCLA Bruins including the 1995 championship team. After seeing his likeness in an EA video game, O'Bannon sued the NCAA and the Collegiate Licensing Company for the commercial use of players' images. Trending legal issues. The O'Bannon versus NCAA lawsuit is very similar to the lawsuit between Marvin Gaye's family and Robin Thicke and Farrell Williams. Marvin Gaye's family is currently pushing to stop blurred lines from being played on the radio, iTunes, etc. Marvin Gaye's family was awarded $7.4 million. Both of these cases include disputes over likeness. The likeness of different songs and the likeness of the images of the NCAA players are very similar. Todd Gurley, a Georgia running back, got into trouble for signing autographs for money is another trending legal issue similar to O'Bannon case. Gurley had to sit out four games to start the 2014 college football season. A legal issue we focused on is when the NCAA, EA, and CLC are using student-athletes liking this to make millions of dollars without giving anything back to the student-athletes. Student-athletes up until 2014 had a limited amount of money on their meal plan. After Shabazz Napier, a star basketball player from UConn, commented saying that he's going to bed hungry at a time when millions of dollars are being made off of him. The NCAA then changed it to where all student athletes have unlimited meal plans. Shabazz also said he went to bed hungry the night before the national championship, yet still had to perform like he was expected to. EA Sports NCAA Football 2012-2013 gave Texas A&M $57,000 and some schools more, such as Wisconsin, who got over $143,000. EA Sports NCAA basketball was less at anywhere from eighteen to twenty-seven thousand. The scholarly analysis: It is possible each player would be getting paid the same to avoid any controversy, and give the star players and bench warmers the same paycheck. That just doesn't add up. It would just be controversial as well. Who would who would regulate and determine which athlete should get paid, and how much should they get paid? Would there be a performance movement? How would you test on the grades and skill to, to produce this performance movement? But this is how you would do the performance movement. You would base on how good a player is and determine how much money each athlete gets based on their skills in each position. It's human nature to always want to go to more money, therefore the athletes are obviously going to go to the bigger schools. If universities paid college athletes, it would make the disparity between large and small universities and athletes even greater. Larger schools with way more revenue and smaller schools with less. For instance, the University of Texas would essentially be able to buy out the best players for their teams, putting the smaller universities at a tremendous disadvantage. College sports and the athletes who participate in them should not be centered around money. 
This is a complete disadvantage to all the major athletes who would never go to a smaller school due to the high amount of revenue of the bigger universities. It is common nature, as I said earlier, that an athlete is going to go where he can receive more money. EA Sports and the CLC violated an antitrust law by conspiring to profit off of the names, images, and likeness of college athletes without compensating them. The terms of the settlement announced late Friday will pay as many as 100,000 current and former athletes up to $4,000 for the use of their images and likeness in the EA Sports video games like it's the NCAA football and March Madness. Even the court system strongly disagrees with the video game making any revenue of the athletes. The court finalized the settlement after this whole huge court case to give the athletes a little income from the total revenue of the multi multi million dollars of the company of the video game of using the likeness of the individual athlete's image. I strongly disagree as a whole of the individual athlete getting paid due to the chart explaining of how each school earned a certain amount of income from the video game to go to their scholarships and etc. Here's some brief examples to explain to you of how the different football programs and basketball programs received revenue from just the video game. As you see in our first topic is Louisville. Louisville University making an increase in revenue of $85,000 in football, $26,000 roughly in basketball. Second on our list, we have UCLA with a revenue of $57,000 in football and $26,000 in basketball. Clemson, $85,000 in, in football and $18,000 in basketball. Wisconsin, $143,000 in football and $26,000 roughly in basketball. And last on our list, Texas A&M with $57,000 in football and roughly $18,000 in basketball. This brings to us our attention the crazy amount of revenue over these video games. If they were able to give these schools back this certain amount of money just due to the revenue of their games. In conclusion, I would like to state to you that if athlete is getting paid at the collegiate level, then what there would not be no distinguish of an amateur athlete and a professional athlete due to the fact that that's what every college athlete works for is to have a contract one day to be able to make it a job in the future. College sports are played by college students who are not getting paid and go out and play for the love of the game. When the money comes into the pitcher, it takes away from the, the integrity and the fierce competition of the game. And here is some references that we had used to back up our court case.